What is up everybody, Jerry here from Savage MTG, bringing you a quick deck tech with green-white hexproof. Alright, so first off, you're going to start off with four Glade Cover Scout. This is going to be your main creature. This is the one, one for one green with hexproof. This is what you're going to put everything on. Next, we got four Mesa Enchantress for zero, two, one, and two white. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, you get to draw a card. This is great because it doesn't matter if it enters the battlefield. It's on the cast trigger, so you get to draw a card whether the spell resolves or not. Next up, all of our one drop enchantments. So first, we got Ethereal Armor. This is great. One white. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each enchantment you control. It makes it really big, really fast. Next up, we got Sixth Sense. It's supposed to be for Keen Sense. Either way, they do the same thing. For one green, enchant target creature, or enchanted creature. Enchanted creature deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. King Sense might say you must, but I prefer Sixth Sense since it's a May ability. I'm not really too sure on King Sense. Next up, Spider Umbra. For one green, enchant creature, enchantment, has totem armor, enchanted creature has reach, plus one, plus one. It's great, got four of those. Next up, Rancor. One green, Gives enchanted creature plus two plus oh and trample. When Rancor enters the graveyard from play, you put it back in your hand. Really good recursion piece, really good trample piece. Next up, lifelink. They got one white enchantment, enchanted creature has lifelink. It's really about it. No two drops, sadly. Next up, three drops. First, we got Armadillo Cloak. This is not a format restricted, it's casual, budget build, it's really fun. So we got Armadillo Cloak. For one green white, enchanted creature has trample, plus two plus two. Whenever it deals damage, you gain that much life. Next, unflinching courage. Flinching courage is one green white, enchanted creature has plus two plus two trample lifelink. Next up, snake umbra. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card for two and a green. Also has totem armor, helps out a lot. And then ancestral mask. Two and a green, enchanted creature has plus two plus two for each other enchantment on the battlefield. Not just under your control, but on the battlefield. Uh, the only problem is sacrifice effects. Yeah, that makes you sacrifice creatures. Kind of sucks, so you don't really want to focus all of them onto one creature. You might want to spread it out just a little bit. Maybe have two or three creatures with a lot of enchantments on it. Uh, preferably Glade Cover Scouts, but if you have to, you can suit up a Mesa Enchantress so you can get in there. Next, we got a really budget land base. Land base is pretty much all basics. You don't want it to be budget. You can get fetches, shock lands, other stuff. Uh, some petal groves are pretty good. Uh, but we got four evolving wilds because, I mean, you'd still need uh, land fetching. You still need your mana base fix. Seven plains, seven forests. We got 21 land, four being evolving wilds. Seven plains, seven forests. That's the deck tech that I got for you guys. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below, and uh, tell me what you think. Bye.